You know, I really don't understand all the fascination with the royal wedding and the royal family and all this shit and their marriage. It's like, didn't uh, America and stuff like fight Britain in the UK in order to separate from like the king and queen and all this shit. And it, it makes no sense to me all of this fascination. And I see all these people from like, I don't know, the alt right or something getting mad that the royal blood bloodline is being tainted or some shit. And it's like, who the fuck gives a shit? These people are no more important than you or me. Their bloodline is basically inbred to begin with. So, uh, you know, who cares? It, 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 it has no relevance to you or my life. You should not, nobody should be caring about these people. And it just shows you the level of like brainwashingness and like, uh, you know, how people just want to be ruled, how they want, we want people to tell, to, to be above us, I guess. Maybe it's a human trait for us to do this and to have people that we consider like, I don't know, just better than other humans and stuff, but really they, they are no better. They were put in this position through the luck of the draw by birth. Uh, you know, if you look through history, the kings and the queens that were running countries, they didn't really care that much about the peasant population. Like you could say they did in a sense, like, you know, they defended some towns and, you know, when they were being attacked, but that was their, <laughs> you know, source of revenue because they still did taxes and all this shit back then when they had monarchs. So it's it just weird to me that we still care so much about this, care so much about their bloodline. It's like, do you, do you intend for these people to rule you one day in the future or something? Like, you know, uh, we, we, we got to get past this idea that other people are more important than you just based on birthright. Now, this is an old antiquated idea. And I see a lot of people who, who are like, maybe it's not so bad, you know, this, this and that. And <laughs> yeah, maybe it's better than uh, communism or something. But you know, you, you cannot depend on uh, a leader coming around that is like Marcus Aurelius, right? Like a stoic king who you know made sure he didn't overuse his power on his subjects like this will never come about <laughs> you know or if it does it's going to be very rare and then it's going to be replaced by somebody like fucking nero eventually or some bloodthirsty king who abuses their power because humans will you know be tempted to abuse power that is given to them we are fallible and we will always be fallible and this is why these top-down systems where all these people have control over everybody else, whether it's monarchy, whether it's democracy, whether it's fascism, communism, whatever, they are not good. <laughs> like They eventually crumble. Eventually, the people rise up and they're not sustainable right? And maybe some will last for 500 years, some will last for 200 years, some will last for, I don't know, a thousand years. And some of the, some people will point to like empires and kingdoms and monarchs that are like, oh, well, look at this empire, it lasts for thousands of years. But look at the quality of life of the people within that empire. There's still tons of slavery, people were still being subjugated to a large extent, like, you know, uh, okay, sure, go back, go back, and live like that if you really want but i don't think you're actually gonna like it okay so you know who cares about these people you know the you know there are so many more important things going on in the world right now but literally all the news media is covering oh the royal wedding the royal who who fucking cares who cares when they have a baby who cares you don't know, no, like you should not give a shit. And this is this is one of the ways that the elites, the society it, uses to control us. 
because you know whether it's the royal family or whether it is celebrities and actors and stuff that you know in america that people pretty much treat like royalty they are just used to manipulate the population you know we you know the media puts them you know makes them seem like very honorable good people and high moral standing and they're almost you know making you believe that they do have this birthright to you know tell you how to behave how to think and you know you validate that by giving by caring so much about these people's lives and it's like you know you you can be somewhat interested but people are so interested to the point of like this is crazy and <laughs> you need to focus more on your own life you shouldn't uh them him marrying a black girl shouldn't piss you off because the the bloodline is now not pure you should not care about their bloodline you should tell them to fuck off uh the royal family the monarch and stuff i'm pretty sure they they get they still get taxpayer money every year so it's like and they occasionally do something nice and be like, oh see the nice thing they did there it's like yeah but do they really deserve to still have this position of power they still get all this money from people no they don't <laughs> You guys retaining it is just stupid. It's dumb, in my opinion. I see other countries, they still have kings and queens, and it's just stupid. You know, I think you guys are, are complete fucking morons for keeping it, for thinking it's a good system. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, yeah, we like being controlled by other people. And yes, democracy is no better. The direct democracy, like what pretty much uh, they are proposing right now for most countries like you know having mob rule it's like you know you see in the middle east and stuff and all that's you know the governments of the u.s and they're like oh let's let's bring democracy to these regions but what they should really be bringing or or advocating for is constitutions you know types of republics because democracies are easily taken over they're easy, it's easy to put somebody in there that supports everything that you want, like the, the, the American governments want. They want democracy, so then they could just import or input their fucking dictator in there. But through republics, through constitutions, then the rights of the individual are protected. And this is what you want. You do not want to have, you know, leaders like this. Uh, kings and queens through birthright setting the rules and laws because like I said they are fallible and I see a lot of people now maybe a hundred years ago there would, <laughs> wouldn't be this much worship and shit and like praise and like oh my people wouldn't care so much especially in America and stuff but now it seems to me that people are getting more and more receptive to the idea of having rulers of having a, like i've even hear this from the alt-right and stuff they're like well oh, i kind of like monarchy and you know you hear from uh richard spencer and stuff they're like oh you know we want kind of the elites to run things and stuff and it's like no man the elites maybe some of them are smarter than the average person but that, that doesn't mean they're going to be implementing things that are good for the majority of society even people who are more intelligent than the average person are still selfish and will still be corrupted by power it doesn't matter <laughs> you know their level of intelligence or what race they are even though they're they're still white right look at russia look at a lot of places <laughs> that were very homogenous they still treated their people like fucking shit they still starve them because you know humans ultimately care about themselves and maybe their family and this is why capitalism in a free society like f actual capitalism something that's not like completely regulated by the government and all this stuff is the best system for everybody <laughs> you know because there is no like top-down control like yes you can have hierarchies and stuff you know in a free society in a free state or whatever uh, with no rulers per se like you could still have companies that have bosses like i'm not i'm not expressing communism and stuff where there's a classless society and there's no hierarchy that's just that's just fucking stupid you know there will always be hierarchy you will always listen to your elders or you should 
you know, because they have been around longer. <laughs> you know, you will always have bosses. You always have people running things. And this is the way you want it, you know, but you just want them to have less control uh, legislatively over other people, <laughs> you know, and and going back to the monarch, going back to letting elites run us and stuff will not make our lives better. It will not solve anything. <laughs> and, you know, it's like people like the alt-right specifically, I see them, they're like, they want to retain the things in America and other countries, Western countries, like freedom of speech and all this stuff that we say are, that, that they're talking like, oh, we want to re retain the good society that we have. But they want to switch to monarchism or something like this to attain that society. And once you go there to attain, you know, a free society, you, you won't. Because people, you know, <laughs> once they have that power and stuff, they're not going to let it go. They're not just going to change and be like, all right, well, now let's give everybody freedom and stuff like this. <laughs> you know, you're, you're, you're foolish if you think that is going to take place. But, you know, enough of this fucking celebrity worship. Who cares if these people get married? Who cares if they have a uh, hundred fucking kids? You know, people should stop paying attention to them. Don't look at them as anybody that, uh, you know, you should model your life by or anything like that because you know they have not reached their position in life through any means of you know uh they never earned it right why would you look up to somebody who didn't earn anything that they have and why do you care so fucking much about it like in canada too it's like they care like it's on everything it's like who fucking gives a shit the queen comes to canada and she comes waves of people, and everybody comes and sees, and like, oh my god, she looked at me, she touched me. <laughs> it's like, this is the problem with humans, and this is why we're so easily controlled. Because we want to be controlled, or so many of us do. We want to worship something. We want to worship somebody. And as soon as we can get past that one day, and think freely, think independently, like, you know, Kanye or whatever is saying, as soon as we can start doing that, then we'll have like a new society, like a new, you know, things, uh, an awakening or something, because, you know, it's we care too much about other people about what they think of us and who they are, and, you know, their status and all this shit, where it's all in the mind. It's all a lot of our prisons, a lot of our the way society is right now, why it's not changing is just psychological. You know, it's like as soon as we understand the you know, the true nature of reality and perception and stuff, then we can actually break out of our boxes. Because, you know, like we noticed when Kanye said slavery was a choice. Now, I agree with that to a large extent because a lot of slavery, if you look at it through history, there's usually a small group of people controlling and a massive group of people through slavery and there's like you know for for every hundred slaves there's like there's like 10 slave masters now until those people realize that hey we have power in numbers then they can break through that slavery but you know slavery over the years the way they did it is they broke down families mothers and stuff like that and the, it, it, it is it was a very psychological thing you know it was within their own minds, they didn't think they were capable of breaking out or, you know, they, they had there was such propaganda used against uh, the children and mothers at the time to make the mothers of slaves always like, be very protective of their sons and stuff like, you know, there's this whole book written about how to create the slave and stuff like that. And it, it's all psychological. So as soon as we understand this, as soon as we stop praising and looking at these people like they're somebody special then we can start being individuals and then we can really progress in society because we won't be restricted by other people by other people's thoughts and their you know manipulation on us yes we can always look at people and, and get take advice from them and all this stuff but but make sure you look at people and you listen to people who have achieved their positions through their own means, you know, and I'm not saying everybody who's birth 
who has a birthright into a king or queen is ultimately a bad person, doesn't have any good ideas whatsoever. But, you know, uh, I think it's just, it's just better to not really worship these people, take them too fucking seriously. Because like I said before, they are no better than you and me. They were just... It was just the luck of the draw for them, you know. So, in the alt right, who the fuck cares if their their bloodline is now tarnished? You know, it it should not matter to you. Worship, worry about you know your own family and all this shit. You know, instead of this bull crap. But that's all I pretty much had to say. If you like my content, subscribe and have a good day. See ya.